Hello guys, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, change the colors and how to set up your Titan beta skin. For those, This is for those that don't want to build and, you know, they want to, they prefer their own skin and, you know, tweak it up a little bit to the way, you know, to the way they like. So, so far I've only downloaded two add-ons, as you can see. You know, because I don't want to make this a long video. Two add-ons, and I just added some movies and TV shows to my library. And um, a picture at the picture add-ons. I also downloaded. So let me jump. Everything you need to know is going to be in the link. In the, um, the li All the links are going to be in the description down below. So let's jump right into it. And go to settings. And make sure that um your unknown sources is checked on as so and also you put this on expert on the bottom right here and you would want to go to media settings and on the general you slide to the right and check this on and check this on show hidden files and allow file renaming okay so now we'll go to add-ons go to the little box up here install from zip file and you'll navigate to where you download downloaded the um the repository that you need it's right here. So I'm going ahead and s install it. Now you'll go to install from repository. Scroll down to right here and select look and feel. Skin. And here it is, the Titan Beta for Cody Krypton. Now allow it to do its thing. When it's done, go yes. Go to yes. You want to keep the skin. And now, I'm not a fan of these colors and the way the home screen looks. I'm not a fan of it. But I like this skin because it has a lot of customizations to it. It's a lot of things you could get done. Okay. So now... I'll go, I'll go all the way down and then choose settings, skin settings, and the first thing we're going to do, okay, let me install this one time, meta, add-on required, yes. You have to give it a second while it's installing all the dependencies. So you can go yes. You could go with the colored studio icons or the white. For me, I'll choose the white. And hit yes. And hit yes again. Click on that and then hit yes again. Okay. 
So the first thing you want to do, you go to a home screen layout and slide to the right and we're going to change that. I'll choose horizontal home screen layout and it gives you three more options. Now I'll pick the first one, the Confluent style layout. That gives you this type of layout. Okay. <clears throat> now you go back to skin settings. So now we have that out of the way. Where the first thing I would like to do is change the colors. You scroll down to custom color settings. The shadow color for header. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Okay. And click yes on that. All right. Shadow color for header. The palette I like to use is the material design. Now I'll scroll down all the way to this one. I like to use this one. I don't know if you can see it, but this one is real light and it goes darker by each one. So I'll choose this one. Now I'll go all the way to the right. I would like to have mine on 45%. Hit down and then hit save. It's going to say 75 right here, but it's actually 45. Now the head, the header panel color, we're going to change that also. I'm going to choose the same color palette, material design. Choose that one. Change the, change this back to 45. Hit down and then hit save. Text I'm going to leave white. Shadow color for footer. I'm going to change that. So for all of them, the palette I'm going to use is material design. Footer pal panel color, I'm going to change that also. Now forgive me if I'm going too fast, I don't want to make this a long video. Save. Color for buttons in the skin. Definitely want to change that. As you can see, the buttons and the skin change to the color I want. Focus color for buttons in the skin. I'll leave that alone. Focus text color for buttons in the skin. It's on black. But I'm, I'm only using the material design palette. So I'm going to change that. And also put on 45. Now we're going to change the general panels color. going to leave all the text colors alone. The home main menu sub menu panel color, we're going to change that also. No 
also put it on 45. The scroll bar background color, that's this thing right here, the scroll bar. I'm going to change that also. The side blade options menu panel color. That's the menu. That's the menu panel that comes to the left. I'll show you in a little bit what that is. If you don't know, I'm gonna change that also. leave the text alone label overlays on poster and thumbs panel I'm gonna change that too Now the OSD panel color, now you can use any color you wish, but this is the color I'm using, and I want the transparency on 45. The text I'll leave alone. Now the diffuse color for lyrics overlay, I'll change that also. Media details panel color, I'm going to change that. Okay. All right, that's good for now. Now let's go back and look how the menu look. Let it load the skin up. So this is what we're working with now. Okay, now the power menu on the bottom right here, I want to hide that also. So I would go into settings, skin settings, and on home screen layout. So we're just going to go down. But before we get to it, we're going to change some other stuff while we're going down. The layout for widgets is set to landscape. The auto-rotate widgets, I'm going to change that. And I'm going to put all widgets. And then the widget auto-rotation inter interval is set to 20, but I'm going to put it to on 5.
I'll select Auto Show the widget for the selected home tile. Auto Show the sub menu. Enable bounce animation on widgets. Enable zoom effect on focus widgets. Now hide power menu and not disable it. So I'm just hiding it. It's still there, but I'm just hiding it. Okay, so we're done with the home screen section. Now we're gonna configure shortcuts. Now slide to the right, edit menu shortcuts. Wait for it to load. Now, for the movies, since I have the movies in my library already, I'll just scroll down to widgets and it automatically set these widgets up for me, which I, I don't want in progress and recommended movies. So I'm gonna, on the first where it says widget one, select widget, video library, And I'll go to the movies folder and then title. That's the only widget I want on there. And you could also change the layout of the widget. For this one, I'm going to use small posters. On widget number two. says recently added movies but I'm gonna select none TV shows I'm gonna do the same thing select widget video library TV shows and title the layout I must pick the same thing um, small posters Widget number two, I'm going to select none. Now, let's show you what that does. I let it load. Now these are the only movies I added on here, but you get the idea. So this is how it is. TV show didn't load up yet. But uh, let's move on. Sorry. And then we're gonna go back to configure shortcuts. And go to edit main shortcuts. Now we just give it a second because the skin is still working in the background. Oops, I backed out of it. Sorry, guys. Let's go back into it. When it loads up, we're going to change the background on these so for the movie section 
Go to select background. Custom multi image. Now, as you can see, on uh, when you go to your file manager, only I only have these two options here. So that's why I in, earlier in the video, that's why I said you um check on show hidden files. So what we'll have to do is go to your file manager. Now you're going to add source, browse, external storage. Now I'm on an Android device, so I will go to Android. Well, I'm not sure how it is on any other device, but you would have to navigate to where you have this folder. org.xbmc.cody, files. Dot Cody user data add on data and I'm looking for plugin image easy wallpapers and then you hit OK you could rename it if you wish but I'll leave it alone for now I hit OK so I have all my pictures right here that I downloaded from the picture add-on I'll leave a link in the description down below also so you could get down your you could download your pictures so we go to skin settings configure shortcuts and edit main shortcuts now movies set background custom multi image downloads Hit OK. We'll do the same thing for TV shows. We'll do the same thing for music. I don't need music video so I'll just delete that if you want it you could keep it if you wish the weather I'll select the background for that also you could do it as a multi image or a single image All I'm doing is repeating the steps. Now we're on the last one. Okay. Now since we're at settings, I want to get rid of the widget. I want this skin to look clean as possible. None. Okay. So now, if you want, you could also add, let's get back in here. You could also add your add ons on the main menu. So you could place it here. You just hit add. It'll be right on the music. You'll go to add-on, video add-on, and I'm gonna add Exodus to it. Then I'll create main item to here. It already named it, so you don't need to set a label to it. You're gonna scroll down and go to widgets. 
widget number one. Go to add on, video add on, Exodus, movies. I'll use new movies. And then I'm going to select use as widget. And then I'll scroll down, go down one time, where it says layout for widgets. This is your option, which one you want to use. But for this video, I'm going to use the small poster. Now, for widget number two, I select that. Go to add-ons, video add-ons, Exodus, and I'm going to add TV shows. I'm going to scroll down to, I'll use new TV shows. And use as widget. Once again, I'm going to change the layout. Back out. So this is what we have so far. And here we have Exodus. Once you scroll up, it's pulling it from Exodus New Movies. And once you go up one more time and then press up again, it says Exodus New Movies. I mean, excuse me, new TV shows. Because we added two widgets. New TV shows and new movies. Now it goes on and on and on until you see the next button. Right here. And it will take you straight to the add-on. The Exodus new TV show add-on section. Let's back up. As you can see we didn't put the background for this. So we're going to go do that. Configure shortcuts, edit menu shortcuts. Wait for it to load. And on Exodus, we're going to select our background. Now we're going to add one more. Video add on. We're going to add Specto and create menu item here. The name is too long, so I'm scrolling down the set label. I'm going to just name it Specto. I'm going to select my background for it. I'm going to select my widgets. I'm going to just use featured. Don't forget to change the layout for the widgets. Um, I'm just going to put this one there for now. A single box. And I'm going to change the label of it also because it's too long. Just add movie. You can name it whatever you wish. 
Okay. So now we have movie category, TV shows, music, Exodus, and Specto. Now, I don't like the background. It's like it's grayed out. And I want to change that. I say you want to change that. Go to settings. Skin settings. And we're going to background settings. Now we're going to go to background overlay texture color. Since I've been using material design. I'll choose that. As you can see, as soon as I clicked on it, it changed. The lower you go, the brighter it is. The higher you go, the darker it is. So I'll leave this at 50. And then hit save. Now it shows the art in the background even better. Now that Cody symbol. If you want to get rid of that, you could do that also. Go to your settings, your skin settings. Excuse me, guys. I'm kind of breezing through this. So we'll go down. Apply background overlay. Now, if you want your pictures to scroll too fast to also, you could change that here. So I'm going to go and change that. It's set to 30 seconds. So I'll put it to 5 seconds. And I'm going to enable the background an animation while I'm at it. I'm going to enable automatic creation of wall background. Okay. Now there's an options to move that Cody sign up there. Now you have to excuse me, it's a lot of settings on here. I believe it's in um You could remove the footer if you wish. That's in that's under general skin settings. As you can see on the bottom it it gets removed. Let's go ahead and remove that. Allow labels of thumb tiles in center, no. Settings for header. So it's under general skin settings and then you scroll down. So for the header, it says configure header for all windows except home. Or configure header for home screen. So we're going to change that for the home screen. We're going to get rid of the logo. All I want is the clock and weather. I'm just scrolling down to see if anything that you probably would want to change. Okay, no. So that's a basic run through, basic setup. You could also ch remove the header on the top if you want to. 
You know, if you have any questions and any other things you would want to know, just let me know. And um, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, you every anything everything you need will be in the description, the link about how to get this skin. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching.